Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning, whenever it is that you happen to be listening or watching this video. Uh, this is page 14 of my comic strip, Found Earth. Uh, yeah, the video editing program has changed slightly. Uh, they put out a new new edition and so now I can dictate exactly how long the videos take and it is very much an improvement over what was there before. So as you can see on the bar across the middle there I'm using Wondershare Film Filmora. Um, it's a really cool and once you get it easy to use video uh, editing program. So at this page, I've already, uh, I have a specific shape for the panels to take, so I did that first, and I had to work that out, uh, and it took a while so that I could uh, tell the story right. So I went ahead and did that before I started the video. Uh, this first panel here has this couple of snails uh, hiding in the grass. And I have no idea what this dead time is in this video. I think I got up to stretch or had to do something really quickly. So there's some dead time in this video. So anyway, so sometimes I get really, really close and detailed and this is one of those, those pages where I, I got in there and put some heavy detail and everything calling into my uh, early image days influences you know the Rob Lee Fields the Todd McFarlane's that kind of deal Mark Silvestri uh, get to pull from some of those influences to go with the, the comic strip uh, format well the comic strip mentality with the comic book format so this guy's looking really perplexed and he's wondering what's going on there's some rumbling going on with the uh, on the ground the ground shaking so he, this is the first time he's experienced this so he's uh, starting to wonder what's going on Again, for some reason, I started working with the mechanical pencil first, and that always leads to heavy detail and early nitpicking with some of the, uh, the layout. Uh, I have no idea why I did not go with my uh, carpenter's pencil with this particular page, but you can definitely tell the difference in the style and definitely calls back to uh, superhero comic books from, from the 90s. And... There I am checking my phone. <laughs> I try not to do that while I'm recording, but sometimes I'm expecting a call or uh, the music changes and, and I don't get to listen to... Uh, there's a song on that I don't want to listen to and it comes on. So they're showing the panel there. Try to do a perplexed look on a robot. Um, these robots tend to take on uh, a more human quality to them the longer I deal with them. They become less and less like robots and more and more like, I don't know, humans with crunchy outer shells, I guess. M&M people. That's really weird. I just kind of made that up. So Jim Lee, when you watch him draw, when he does his rough pencils, he will draw through the other panels to make sure that he gets all the anatomy correctly proportioned. And so that's what you saw me doing there, uh, drawing through the next panel. But since I'm, I need the first panel, two panels to be clean, 
I just cover up the first panel and just draw on the next one. That way you're sure to get everything in proportion the way that uh, you like it. And then you can use that as the, the basis to go off of everything else. And so in this panel I'm going for the idea that there is an awful lot of dinosaurs walking past and because he's sitting down you know typing or sitting down on the ground um, he's going to see only the feet because he, he never even makes it to the point where he looks up and so all he is seeing is feet of a herd of dinosaurs walking by And the video starts to fade out here. That's the problem with the manu manual uh, focus digital camera. Um, you get so into what you're doing that it fades out and uh, you have no idea uh, until you go to watch the video or you happen to look up at the screen. And, and there it's refocused again. So I have this little tiny baby dinosaur walking by with the herd. It would be in the middle towards the, the back there uh, because it's falling behind. But the herd would naturally surround you know, baby, the babies. So it's somewhere in the middle there and it's just kind of trying to keep up. I like the idea of having it turn around and roar at the uh, the dinosaur. It's just sitting there, kind of trying. It's uh, still learning its place and stuff, so it's trying to protect the herd uh, in its own way. It's the way it's seen uh, the other dinosaurs in the herd protect each other. So it kind of walks along behind and it falls behind finally. And it turns around and it roars at the, the dinosaur. I really enjoyed doing this page. It, um, I kind of like the detail in it, uh, how much was put into it. You know, putting this much detail into the the pencil work makes the inking really, really easy. It makes it almost uh, mind-numbing because now at this point you're just figuring out how... You're doing an awful lot of tracing, but you're figuring out which lines need to be thicker and, and for the shadows and stuff with the, with the pens. Uh, it makes the job easier if you go this, this heavily detailed. Uh, you work work out less on the with the pen but this is the moment uh, in which the other dinos the other robots figure out that the the small one was was not exaggerating and it's the the moment of dawning uh, for this robot that maybe uh, the the worker robot it was not making stuff up and maybe wasn't lazy after all. Or maybe he'll just take it as his own epiphany and uh, take credit for discovering all these animals. We'll wait and see, but right now he's just kind of uh, surprised, impressed, uh, shocked. But I really like the pen work on, on all these, uh, on this page. It, it turned out really well, and uh, my only regret is, is that the video got kind of fuzzy there in the center, but um, 
yeah, it makes it really easy to to ink once with all this detail. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope that I didn't ramble uh, pointlessly through it. Um, just chugging along. I mean, it's page 14. There's 98 pages here, so we're well on our way. If you want to uh, financially support the video, go to Patreon. I know that I'm posting this on Patreon first, but it's going to go on YouTube later. Go to my Patreon account, Alan Dunlap going to do this story and I'm going to do many more so I'm going to be there a while um, pledge some support I'll put your name in the video and we'll go from there I'd rather spend more time working on the comic than coming up with uh, Patreon rewards and such so uh, that's about as good as I'm going to do um, maybe a surprise at the end of all this we'll wait and see uh, it depends on the level of involvement because the idea is to make the stories. So, uh, thank you for uh, watching. I uh, hope you were entertained and uh, have a good have a good night, evening, weekend, morning, whatever this is for you. And we will see you next week. Thank you.